Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. So today we're gonna to be continuing on the drawing app series. We're gonna be adding in the zoom functionality today. It's a very similar pattern to the, the pan uh, video that we did in the last one. So let's get right into it. So when you're dealing with zoom on HTML canvas, we're gonna be playing around with the context.scale function here. This takes in the scale for the X and Y axis. This basically scales the X and Y, but we're always gonna keep these the same. So we're not gonna kind of stretch it on um, one of the uh, axes. So we're just gonna keep it the same. The, the thing to note here is that one unit uh, of the canvas is exactly one pixel. So if you put in one and one, it's gonna look exactly the same. If you put in two and two, what this is gonna do is it's gonna double the size of the unit. So one unit will then equal two pixels and then you know the, the, the other way around as well. So we're increasing the, the size of the pixels per unit. Um, and what this means, so if you go to our drawing app and if you just draw, basically if we draw, uh, let's assume this is the viewport and let's also draw the, the canvas right now that matches the viewport. Um, when we scale it, so if I just hit the selection here, what's gonna happen is it's basically kind of stretching it, right? So it's stretching the canvas. So things are gonna get a bit bigger. Um, and then what we wanna do is we're actually gonna just kind of add a scale offset. We're, we're gonna call it a scale offset. We're just gonna offset it so that we're always zooming into the middle, right? Otherwise by default, we're always kind of zooming into the top left. That's just the default behavior. Um, so that's basically the two things we need to take uh, into consideration. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna refresh this. Um, I'll jump into the uh, use state uh, directly and we're just gonna add two states here, one called scale. That's just gonna start off at one, which is the default. Uh, and want to take into consideration our scale offset. So we're gonna always move it um, as we scale. So this is just gonna start off X and Y exactly the same as the, uh, the pan offsets that we did before. Then what we do is, uh, well, what I'll do first is actually I'll add the buttons just so we can kind of uh, play around. So we're actually gonna add, uh, we're gonna update the scale, right? So what I'll do is we'll jump into the uh, JSX here. Let's add another two buttons uh, just to the left here. And we'll just add a bit of a space. I can just do that by adding a, Kind of span here and let's do this one as minus this one as plus and we'll do one where we're going to keep the uh, we'll keep the value actually so scale here and on click is going to be a bit different so we're going to add a function called on zoom and we're going to pass it a value so what we'll do is uh, when you're subtracting when you're zooming out we're going to pass in a um, minus 0.1 uh, 0 0.1 when you're on zooming, when you're zooming in, we're gonna do plus uh, 0 0.1. So that's just like that. And then what we'll do is a, a reset actually. So we'll just set scale here directly. So we'll set the scale to uh, one. So that's just gonna reset everything. I think that should be fine. Um, what we'll do is we'll create our on zoom function here on zoom, and that's gonna take in the Delta. And that's just gonna set uh, the scale to the previous state um, plus the Delta basically. Uh, there we go. So I think that should be fine. We come back in here and actually I'm just gonna make this, uh, this is not gonna be a button. We'll just pop that as a span there for now. And what we can do is we can just, um, what we're gonna do here actually is just take in the internationalization library number format. Uh, we'll pass in ENGB and we'll just style this as a percentage. Um, should be able to just pass in, I think it's a percent give or take let's just see if that works dot format and we'll just pass in the uh, scale here uh, so all i'm doing here is basically formatting uh, so it's just a, a percentage from uh, zero to to one so we've got our scale there we can zoom in and out i think i put those the the wrong way so let's just pop this uh oh i just forgot to take in the negative there we go so we can zoom in here uh, and we can zoom out so that's fine let's add in the zooming in and out with the the mouse as well just the scroll wheel so we already have a uh, use effect for basically panning with the with the mouse, right? So we're gonna go into that. Um, we're just gonna update that a bit. So what we'll do is we'll just rename this to pan or zoom function. And what we'll do here is we're gonna check if we are pressing the, the meta key. So we already have the pressed keys hook from before, which basically just keeps track of all the, the, the keys that we've pressed. Um, and we're gonna say if we've pressed meta or if we've pressed control, I guess, for, um, for Windows as well, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set, uh, well, we actually can just call the on zoom function, right? And we can just call the event dot delta y. That's perfect. Um, so we can call the delta y. That's the same, uh, the same one we use for the pan offset. What we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply it by negative just so we can make sure we've got the right offset. And then we're just adding, we're kind of normalizing it down a bit because those values get quite big. So if we if we leave it at this, it's gonna it's gonna zoom too too quickly basically. So we're just gonna basically make it into a smaller number. Um, otherwise, yeah, otherwise we just uh, set the uh, pan offset. 
that should be fine. And the final thing I'm gonna do here is I just need to update this dependency array with the pressed keys, basically. Uh, that should be fine, just like that. So now that we've got that, uh, we draw a rectangle, nothing's gonna happen, but if I press Command uh, and zoom in, you can see that we're just zooming in and we're changing the, the, the scale there. One final thing we should definitely add here is we should just limit this. So uh, if we want the minimum, what we want is a ma math dot max. So we want maximum of either this value or 0 0.1 on the scale. Um, and then if we want the maximum, what we need to do is math dot min, same value. And then what we'll do is, well, let's do two just to make sure this is working fine. So if I scroll down, it can't go below 10. If I scroll up, can't go above 200. So that's fine. So what I'll do is I'll put this to 20. So I'll just say maximum you can zoom in is 2,000%. Cool. So that's fine. Um, yeah, now let's get to the actual scaling with the, the zooming itself. So if we jump into the use layout effect here, what we're gonna do is uh, let's have a look at how this works. So we'll jump into the, the kind of the main bit where we're rendering all the elements, which is here. And we're just gonna do a context dot fill rect. Um, so we're just gonna draw a square, I guess. Uh, so if I refresh this black square there, and what we'll do is we'll just draw another one before uh, what we'll do is before we scale, right? So we've got two rectangles, one at 300, one at uh, 100, and then we're gonna do context dot scale here. I'm just gonna pass in the scale. So everything looks okay now. So remember that the top one here is, actually let's switch these around. The top one here is drawn before we scale and the, the bottom one here is drawn after we scale. So if we change the scale here to two, what's gonna happen is this is basically gonna move right and down, like we said, and it's gonna basically kind of stretch. So it's, it's twice as big, right? Um, if we did it just on the x-axis, it's gonna, again, move to the right because you know the, the screen's actually getting wider. And it's also, you can see it's, it's twice as wide. So that's basically what's happening with the scale. And of course, um, if we zoom in here, if I just zoom in, and what I'm gonna do is let me just add scale here to the dependency array so that it updates. As we zoom in, you can see it's kind of zooming in to the top left of the of the screen. Um, and as we zoom out, it's gonna go back out to the top left uh, of the screen. So that's what I meant earlier on when it's kind of, it's stretching out from the bottom right, so everything's moving towards. So if we, um, let's see if we can visualize that better. If we kind of draw a bunch of rectangles like this, you can see as I zoom in, it's kind of just going in towards that top left there. And as I zoom out, it's going away from that top left. Uh, and of course, as we zoom in and out, our, our drawing then is, is, is all over the place because we need to add an offset, right? So um, what we're gonna do first is we'll just focus on zooming into the middle, right? So once we focus on zooming into the middle, then we can more easily calculate the, uh, the, the offsets. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to take the, the width of the, the scaled canvas. We need to subtract it from, well, we need to take away the width of the normal canvas. So that's basically the difference. And then we just need to divide that by two. And that's basically how much we wanna move it so we can get it on, on the center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do const uh, scaled width, and that's just gonna be the canvas width multiplied by the scale. I'm not sure why I did divide. Uh, height is gonna be the, the scale. And then we're gonna do um, const scale offset is going to be the, uh, I think it's the, what we'll do is actually the scaled width, uh, scaled width minus the canvas dot width divided by two exactly. Um, and that's gonna be scaled offset X. And then we have scaled offset Y is just the, the same with the height. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the, the scale offset itself so that we can use it later on. So uh, there we go. Um, let's take away these two rectangles. So we're just doing the translate and the scale. So that's fine. If I now draw a few rectangles, um, well, actually nothing's changed yet because we just need to do the translate. So what we wanna do here is essentially, one thing we wanna do is anywhere we're using any kind of mouse values on the screen, we just need to make sure now we're multiplying it always by the scale because the scale is gonna change or that the unit is gonna change of the canvas. So anywhere we're using pan, um, uh, basically any X or Y coordinate, we just need to multiply it by, by the scale, right? So first things first, I'm just gonna say, hey, we're, we're using a scale now. So initially it's gonna be one, so basically ignore it. But anytime we change the scale, just make sure that we, we change the offset by the scale. That's, that's kind of a, a standard. Um, and then the second thing we need to do is uh, because we're gonna, we want to move it, we're gonna say, okay, now actually subtract the, uh, additionally subtract the, the offset which is the, this kind of calculation that we did um, over here. So what we can do here is minus scale offset uh, X and minus scale offset uh, Y. Uh, there we go, so let's see how that goes. So now if I kind of draw these rectangles along the way and I start to zoom in, you can see that we're basically zooming into the, the center here and we're zooming out the center, which is perfect, right? It's exactly what we want. Now, of course, as we try to draw on this, it's all gonna be kind of skewed. So as we're in here, we're, we're kind of drawing 
um, everything's all over the place. We need to adjust how we get the coordinates um, and make sure that that basically now takes into consideration both the scale and the scale offset. So if we now just go down with the, uh, well, if we find the pan offset and just go down to the next occurrence of that, um, should be in the get mouse coordinates, we need to basically do the exact same thing, right? We need to um, we'll copy that. We need to multiply by the scale because we're always multiplying anything uh, by the scale. And then we need to subtract. Um, I think we actually, I can't remember if we're adding or subtracting. Um, I think we need to add back on. So let's try add the scale offset uh, dot x and y. And then there's one final thing we need to do. Basically everything, same as the pan offset, everything that we're doing here, we need to undo it, right? Um, so we're, we've translated. So that's basically what we've done so far. So this is the translating. Um, because we're scaling as well, so that now we're, we're adding a scale, we need to now undo that scale as well just to, to normalize everything here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two here and we're just going to do divided by scale. And that's going to give you hopefully the, the true kind of mouse uh, mouse coordinates um, on, the, on the page. So if we now hit a refresh here, draw some rectangles, let's pan, make sure that's still working. Now we're going to zoom in. That's going to zoom into the center and we draw. And basically we should just see that it's, uh, it's basically all going to the right place. We should be able to pan nicely. We should be able to zoom out again. And then we should be able to pan and just keep drawing. Perfect. That's pretty much it. That's that's all there is to the, to the zooming. Um, that will just work for everything else. Again, because of the foundations that we've put in on the uh, on the, the panning, that's everything. One final thing actually that I did forget is the, the text tool. So the text tool is going to be a bit off. So it works fine. As we zoom in, if I try to do the text, first of all, you'll notice it's a bit off, especially when we uh, when we pan. And you'll notice as well, the, the text starts off small and then it kind of comes in um, comes in big. So the, the final thing we need to do here is we need to open up here. Um, and just a reminder, the, the text area that we're drawn with, remember it's not on the canvas and we're, we're kind of using the, the, the pan offset and the, the selected element here. So we just need to take that into consideration. So as we're adding the pan offset here, first things first, we need to multiply everything by the scale. Um, so we multiply that by the scale, multiply that by the scale. I think we need to even multiply the initial values by the scale as well. So just so that it's all um, kind of normalized. So let's just uh, do that. So that's multiplied by the scale. And then we just need to uh, subtract the scale offset. So we're doing the opposite of what um, was done before basically. So scale offset dot X, I think that should be it. And the final thing here is actually um, the font. So we've hard coded the font here as uh, 24 pixels, but of course that's gonna change with the, with the scale. It changes with the scale in the canvas, but we need to manually change it here. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, basically just do 24 times the scale, whatever that is. And I think that should be it. So let's just uh, pop a rectangle in for reference. So we draw, that's fine. We zoom in, pan, there we go. Yeah, I think that's fine. And yeah, I think that's everything that we need to add the zoom functionality. I think it was made a bit easier by having done the, the pan uh, in the last video. We could kind of uh, use the existing methods and the, the patterns that were there before. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.